Hello everyone. In the last video, we had talked about the reaction of metals with air. Now, let's have a look on how metals react with water. In general terms, we can say that metals react with water to form metal oxide. These metal oxides, which are further soluble in water, dissolves to give metal hydroxide and release of hydrogen gas. But again, the rule does not apply to all metals. Some metals are very reactive even with cold water, while there are few which do not react even with steam. Like when we talk of alkali metals such as sodium and potassium, they react vigorously with water. The reaction is very violent and exothermic, such that the hydrogen gas released immediately catches fire. For example, let's take a piece of sodium metal and drop it in a beaker full of water. You will observe that the reaction is very violent. The reaction with calcium is not so violent. The heat evolved is not sufficient for the hydrogen to catch fire. Instead, calcium starts to float on the surface because the hydrogen bubbles evolved stick on it and reduces its density. Magnesium only reacts with hot water and like calcium, it also starts to float on the surface like for the same reason. Metals like aluminium, iron and zinc only reacts with steam to give metal oxide and hydrogen gas. There are very less reactive metals like lead, copper, silver and gold which do not react with water at all. From the reactions we have studied till now with air and water, we are sure that sodium and potassium are the most reactive while silver and gold are the least. Now, in the next video, we will see that how metals react with acids.